Uh, I was up for Black Swan, but I was busy. There were a lot of people who were like, why didn't you do it? Um, couldn't, busy. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Christina and I am here with Mary Helen Bauer, the founder of Ballet Beautiful and the beautiful Kate Walsh. And today we are going to do a Do Anywhere Workout Ballet Edition. So I'm gonna walk you through Ballet Beautiful, a mini workout. We're gonna use some of our standing exercises mm -hmm. from the bar. So we're gonna be targeting and sculpting your ballet muscles. Muscles in the inside of your legs, your butt, your core, um, working through your back and your arms as well. So we'll get a good full body vibe. You can use your kitchen counter, mm -hmm. um, the wall, chair, edge of the sofa. You just work with what you have. I'm so excited. What do you love about ballet workouts? First of all, I love how portable it is. So if I'm on mm -hmm. location or anywhere, I can either do a Skype or click online and find um, a workout. There's lots of different workouts. So if you want to target one particular area of your body, you can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, my stylist recommended it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Hollywood, but she's like, if you want to keep that butt up, she's yeah. like, go to Ballet Beautiful. And I was like, got it, done. <laughs> So obviously I am um, a few months pregnant. Yes, so congratulations. Thank you. So is this a great workout for pregnant women as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. there, we're going to modify one of the moves today. So Kate will do the more advanced version. You can do a version that's going to feel good on your body. And with Ballet Beautiful, we also have a big world of prenatal, postnatal workouts. How many days a week do you recommend somebody doing a ballet class? I would recommend for Ballet Beautiful, three hours a week. It doesn't have to be all at once. You can break it up 15 minutes here. 15 minutes there. Um, I think it's, you know, in my ideal world, I would do a full hour, three to four days. Kate, how often do you get it? Uh, well, I try. It depends. Over the holidays, holidays yeah. I did not make it. I was largely in bed. But I try to do uh, three times a week, yeah. at least. And it, I feel good. Like I said, my body responds. I love it. I know it sounds maybe very superficial, but I do enjoy the clothes. I, I know. When I, try, I, when I put it. this on, I'm like, I feel like a ballerina. You feel now. feminine. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like this mm -hmm. is such a great, fun workout too, which yeah. it, and it's something a little bit different yeah, that a lot definitely. of people wouldn't think about. And it's not too, I think sometimes people can think, oh, ballet, you have to be really very talented or amazing. Mm -hmm. and it's not, you just sort of go at your own pace, but you, it really, the body, I mean, that's the most important thing is the results. Yeah. I feel like my body really responds to it. Yes, well, I am not talented, so wait yeah. till you see this. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love it. I'm very excited. Okay, so I'm gonna take you ladies through one of our full body bar exercises today. We're gonna to be working in arabesque, we're gonna use some lunges. So some of the movements might feel familiar and some are gonna be very ballet beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do sort of a mix between a lunge, uh, which I'm sure you're familiar with from working out, and an arabesque, which is a very ballet specific move, one of the most classic moves in ballet where you have the back leg straight and you're gonna be lifting. So. You wanna pull in tight, open through your chest, so you're always working on that good okay. posture, and extend the opposite arm front. We're gonna come down, bending that standing knee. My toe is a little bit oh, open. You wanna okay. make sure your knee's right over your toe. Stretching down, and I'm gonna do a small lift, pulling the stomach in tight, so you're engaging your core, okay. and lower the leg. So I'm gonna take the arm up and down with the leg. Hold it here. I'm gonna pulse in this arabesque. Bend the knee, so bend. Two, three, five, six, seven. We're gonna tap it down and then bend it into an attitude, which is when you have your knee bent. So I'm gonna tap it, and this is for the booty. And lift it up so and tall. two, four, good. So pulling in tight, good. And lifting, so tapping down, good. And up, hold it here. Pull the stomach, good. So other side. Okay, same thing. We're gonna bend down, bend your standing knee, pull the stomach in tight, open through the chest, arm across, lifting up and two. And think more than up. I want you to think about extending that leg back, good. Eight, stretch that back knee and plie. Two, three, four, good. Okay, now we're gonna tap it and lift it into attitude. And up and two, scoop the stomach as you lift and three, the exercise we're gonna do next, we'll do a fewer um, reps because it's gonna be a little harder. Okay. Legs, butt, core. it's getting core. through your yeah. core. <laughs> core. Yeah, which I know is a little more complicated <laughs> when you're pregnant. Good. But you probably can still feel those muscles oh, yeah. on your side. And it's wraps actually, back here too. Exactly. Like the back, it's getting your back. Like in the good, this yeah. part, the no man's land. <laughs> yes. 
And we're gonna um, take one arm up and I'm gonna slide back into a lunge, but touching the floor. So Christina, you probably wanna stop around here. Okay, Kate, try to come all the way down to the floor mm -hmm. and then all the way up. And use those muscles through your butt and the back of your leg and also your core to pull up. So all the way down, eight, and now we're gonna lift it up. So I'm gonna bring the foot up to passe. So touch the floor down. Great. Boy, that looks so good, ladies. Oh, you really feel you. the butt burn, oh right? Oh my God. <laughs> this may not look like much, but it's I'm really hard. hard. It's really it hard. It kills. Right? And Ow. three, and that's really hard. <laughs> Lifting up, great. Oh my yeah. God. Uh, a lot, good. it's really targeted. Do you huh? feel it? Yes, oh my God, They're all right in here. Yeah, it's insanity. Yeah. Okay. So toes together, heels together, arm up, lower down, and lift, and eight. Now we're gonna do the lifts. Down, up. Try not to grip on the bar, you wanna have a nice light hold. Good, Ooh. lifting up. Take a little stretch so for how do you feel? I so we can just do an really easy little stretch to the back of the leg. <laughs> you have many pregnant clients, don't you? You have pregnant yes, women. Yeah. Definitely. And pre and post. But also I had a hip replacement uh -huh. like seven months ago and it's amazing. Like yeah. that's yeah. It's like a hard to, it's, move too. It's a big range of yeah, motion. You're definitely. Great. But building feel strength good. without like overtaxing the body. Yeah. You don't have to punish your body. To have to a get, great workout. To get great results. Yeah, like yes, it's exactly. Really... And I think that's something people that's don't always snower. understand. You think that you've got to be, you know, pouring sweat right. and like pounding your body and doing crazy cardio to change the way your body is shaped. Yeah. You don't. You, you don't. really need to work smartly. And mm -hmm. You can subscribe to mm. our custom workout at ballybeautiful.com and we've got you covered. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank, Thank you. so much. Fun. Nice to meet you.